This is video number 5000 on the channel. Can you believe it? 5000 videos over the past 3 years all dedicated to bring you the latest and greatest in AI mostly hands on. This journey has been absolutely incredible and none of it would have been possible without you guys. The viewers who watch, comment, share and support this channel every single day. Special thanks to the members because they are keeping the lights on. Whether you have been here since video 1 or you just discovered us yesterday, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being part of this amazing community. And what better way to celebrate video 5000 than with an another coding model? News Research has released this news coder 14 billion. This model is a competitive programming model that's pushing the boundaries of what AI can do with code. This isn't just another language model. This is a specialized coding machine that's been fine-tuned through reinforcement learning to tackle the kinds of problem you would see in actual programming competitions. In this video, we are going to install it and we will test it out on various benchmarks. I will talk more about this model for now. Let's get it underway. So I'm using this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card and VDR TXA 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute and also a big thank to them for supporting the channel. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. And now let's install all the prerequisites which are just simply torch and transformers. While that happens, let's talk more around some of the benchmarks and results which they have shared as they speak for themselves. Such as on Live Code Bench v6 which is a rigorous testing platform that evaluates models on recent programming challenges from August 2024 to 2025, News Coder has achieved a 67.87% success rate on first attempts. That's over a 7% improvement compared to the base <clears throat> Coin3 models 60.79 and that's a huge deal. What's particularly impressive is the training efficiency which they have shared. The team used around 48 high-end B200 GPUs and trained the model on 24k coding problems in just 4 days. And that shows that targeted reinforcement learning can meaningfully boost an AI's programming abilities in a relatively short time frame. And they have also shared some of the other comparison which you can see that uh, looks pretty realistic to me. But within its own class, I think it has done wonderfully well. Okay, let's go back to our terminal and see what is happening. Almost there. Okay, so everything is installed. Now let's download the model and do the inference. So this is a Python code where I am first downloading the model and then I am asking it to create me a modern responsive landing page for an AI product waitlist. The page should include a compelling hero section with headline and sub headline about a revolutionary AI product, a waitlist sign up form such as email input, some feature highlights, some modern gradient design, should be mobile responsive, clean, professional and all that stuff. And then we are generating the output with the help of model after tokenizing it. And then we are decoding it and printing it out. And it is based on the Coin3 code by the way. Okay, so let's go back and now let me run this. So first time when I'm running this, it is downloading the model. There are six shards of it as you can see. The model is downloaded and now it is generating that landing page behind the scene and it will save it as an HTML file. Let me show you the VRAM consumption as the model is fully loaded. So it is consuming close to 29 gig of VRAM. And it has generated the code. Let me open it in the browser. And there you go. On first attempt, the landing page about this new AI product, the Text looks good. This is a wait list, email address and all that. And look at all of these widgets. 
these are responsive as I am hovering over them and then it has created the whole stuff like you know footer to header to everything this is really good and all the links are working even the header is quite good so I think in first attempt it has done really really good also it has saved the thinking process in a separate file and as you can see the thinking is quite targeted it has understood the problem it has then devised a plan also checked few alternatives some potential use cases and then putting it all together okay so next up what i'm going to do i'm just going to create another html file but with some animation where a rocket is zooming across the screen and then there are various things related to physics how the rocket is rebounding plus some um, prerequisites that the background should be dark trails have a fade effect and all that stuff and this is the goal a world-class mesmerizing visual experience so let's go back and run this i'm just going to run this here shouldn't take too long and it has generated the code file let me put it in the browser and this is what it looks like the rocket looks good it is going into the straight line and i'm clicking on the screen and the fireworks is happening also it says press space for the automatic fireworks which is happening it is good not bad but i have seen better these animations and I'll just reload it. Yeah, this looks better. So this is, I am also clicking on the screen. And not bad, not bad. It has done what I asked it to do, but I have seen much, much better uh, fireworks. Anyway, okay, so let's try out one more prompt. Okay, in the next example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see what are the debugging capabilities of this model. So I am giving it this C++ code where I am asking it to not only find the bugs, but also these bugs are related to use after free, free like deleting pointers that are still referenced in the code or there is another bug of double free where destructor deletes already deleted pointer and some dangling pointers here. So pretty hard prompt to find the bugs only if it would do if it if it knows the C++ coding and if the training is correct. So let me save this and go back to my terminal and run this and we will check it out. Let's wait. Okay, so the model has generated the bug report and let me show you. So first this, this is a thinking process and then it has also put the, so I, sorry, I put the thinking process here. And if I just scroll down, you will see it has thought a lot. And then it is thinking, thinking, thinking. And these are the bugs it has identified. Not only that, but also it has, ident you know, summarized all the bugs here. And the good thing is that it has successfully identified all the critical bugs, including race condition, use after free, double free, and few others. So, and if you go through this bug report from, you know, thinking to the end, I think it has done wonderfully well. And by the way, it took around five minutes to come back. And these are the main issues. And it also is then self-reflecting real real good stuff so look very happy with the model let me know what do you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot please also follow me on x if you're looking for updates on ai without any hype thank you for all the support